In today's blog, we're going to be taking a look at a new tool that's been added to the sheet metal environment. This particular tool, which is called RIP, is especially useful when we're dealing with lofted flanges, for example, and we'll change the workflow a little bit on that as well. So when creating a lofted flange, we would normally be working with two sketches on two separate planes. Be our first sketch. We then come in and create an offset plane. And we then create our sketch from that second plane. Right. What we would then go and do is go and create our lofted flange, like I say. Now your typical workflow previously would have been creating a sketch, let's say on this flat face here. Looks like a rectangle that's wide enough the material to the same as the material thickness or bigger. And then you would do an extruded cut so it cut cut through there. So it would convert it from being a a closed body into an open body so that you could flatten it so just to see at the moment we've got nothing in there at all if we try creating a flat pattern and pick that as a flat face you'll see that it won't flat pattern and we get an error okay but this is where i was saying before you would have created a sketch and then extruded it to convert okay what we've now got in the modify command is the rip command. So what we can do here now, rather than have to create a separate sketch, all we've got to do is just click the two positions, like the top and the bottom of where we want it to rip. We can give it a gap size, so if you want it bigger, you can do that. But you can also go in, if you know what your material fitness is, you could go in and type it, or you could come in and do what I'm doing here and measure it and do it that way. You can also as well change the position at the bottom. And that would change the position there. What we can also do is we can grab that arrow and we can drag it back wherever we want it to go. So back in the middle could go there. But we can also drag to the other side as well, as you can see. And once we've created that rip, we can then come in and create a flat pattern, pick our stationary face, and we can now see that it's created a soft flat pattern, which we could then go and export out as a DXF. Okay, and again, if we just go back and finish the flat pattern, we can go back to our original part. Hope you found this blog useful.